complex atmosphere has been breached by the beast planet. Impact estimated at T minus 30 and counting. Planetary circuits are reaching critical mass. Stay in formation and be alert. There are beast drones all around us. Don't look back. There's nothing we can do. The beast armada. It's ready to jump. We've got to get there first. Armada in position, preparing for warp jump. Beast drones! They're onto us! Switch to pull thrusters! I can't shake them! about the coming of the beast. Somebody must remember. All life on planet tech has ceased. Father, I will not fail you. Let's go. Local thermal scans deployed. Do you copy? External thermal scan still showing red. We'll keep you posted. All right, man. Let's get to work. Freezing my rocks off here. It could be worse. I was part of the last raid to Planet Fire. My suit was like an oven. Thanks, sir. Name's not. 
not Sir. It's Graveheart. Now let's be careful out here, okay? We wouldn't want to lose you. Fox, scan system. Five orbiting planetary bodies. Four planets support life. Set course for nearest planet. Captain, we're going blue. Contact the scouts. Find out what's happening out there. Perimeter, what's your status? Repeat, perimeter, what's your status? Is anybody out there? No answer, Captain. We... Sir, I've got nothing but blue. We've got incoming. Hold your positions! Nobody leaves until a ship is loaded! No way. We're cutting loose now. I'm not putting my men in any more danger. I'm in charge of this mission, and I say when we leave, do I have to remind you how important this water is to our planet? Not more important than men's lives! Captain! The mist! Fog. It's too late. Warriors! Lock and low! If it's a fight they want, then you would already be dead. crown. It's King Cryos himself. Men of Rock, you have gambled and lost. You have raided our world for the final time. And now you must pay the price. You won't go down easy, insect! Nevertheless, you will go down. Now lower your weapons and surrender. You are all prisoners of planet ice. Never! King Cryos, you stand ready to condemn us. And yet your people have done the same to our world. Who dares? Me? I'm just a miner. A thief, you mean? No, a miner. Just someone out to help his world. Then you should have stayed off ours. You know we can't do that. We need your water to survive. So you steal it? Yes. Yes, we do. Just as you steal from us and we both steal from planets fire and bone. We need each other's natural resources to survive. And you know it. It is our way of life. Then allow us to leave your planet and we'll leave your precious ice. Our precious water. No! We won't leave without the ice. We can't. Your comrades damn you, Rockhound. I am sworn to protect my world and my people. I will not violate that oath. is this? You tell me. Uh. 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 Run. First, let's see if you can stand. No. Run!
these beasts. Our argument has been settled for us. Too bad we won't live to find out who won. Okay. Who are you, and what are those? I am Tekla of Planet Tech. My ally is Vox. And those... Those are the Beast Drones, servants of the Beast Planet. Beast Planet? An evil world whose sole purpose is destruction. It has just consumed my system. My world. And now it sends its drones to do the same to yours. Not if I can help it. It appears you can't rock out. These creatures, what are they made of? No matter. Yeah, but how can you stop them? Aim for the containment unit. Destroy that and you destroy the drone. These weapons, it will be impossible to stop them all. Well, I've had enough of this. Wait! Come back! He flees. The men of rock are known to be brittle at the spine. Problems need big solutions. Humor? By the great glacier. Sonic Cannon. Care to join me? It's over, for now, but the cost was beyond measure. At least your planet is safe, your majesty. Is that the last of the beast drones? I'm afraid not. The beast forces are infinite in number. Those drones were sent to silence me, to stop my warning. This is my mission, Planet Tech's gift to this system. But the Beast Planet is myth. A story told to frighten unruly children. Really? 
Then tell them the story of my lost homeworld. No! Promise me, man of stone. Complete my mission. Warn the worlds of this system. Stop the beast planet. Me? But I'm just a miner. I'm not a warrior. You have a warrior's strength and a leader's heart. Bring your worlds together. Combine their forces. Lead them against the beast. But I'm only one man. How can I... Your heart will show you the way. Tekla? Princess Tekla is currently offline. <sighs> Look at me. A commoner among kings. Who would have thought I... Where... Where am I? Daddy, our guest is awake. Allow the rock man some room to breathe, Zira. Uh. Relax, Miner. Our nanonites can be used to heal as well as hurt. Am I your prisoner? Hardly. Braveheart. So, remind me. Why have you set me free? You could have fled. And yet you stayed to defend people who, moments before, had threatened to destroy you. My people. It was the... the right thing to do. I don't know how else to explain it. You can count on Ice to be the first to stand at your side. Logically, we stand a better chance against the beast if we combine our forces. Tekla was right when she... Tekla? Is she... Come, let me show you! You will have to forgive my daughter, the Lady Zira, her enthusiasm. Tekla's status unchanged. We're keeping her in stasis while she heals. The Nanonites have repaired her body, but she is damaged here, inside. Her thoughts are injured. Then it's up to us. Somehow we have to unite our four worlds against the threat of the approaching beast planet. Yes. Four worlds that have been deadly enemies since before the dawn of time. Then I guess we better get started. The enemy draws closer by the minute.
Coming into range. Rock's battle moves. Your planet's first and most formidable line of defense. I understand they've stopped your armies on more than one occasion. Yes, they have. Perhaps this would be the best time for you to clear a path. Don't look at me. I'm just a miner. Only quarriers have the access codes. I was hoping your diplomacy would see us through. Diplomacy? With Lord Mansell? Impossible. Your Majesty, the moons are now active and locking in. Open a hailing frequency to the planet. You're in our sights, insect. State your mission. I am Cryos, servant of the glacier and king of planet ice. Not good enough. Prepare to be destroyed. Wait, this is Graveheart, minor, granite class. I'm accompanying the king and he wishes to invoke the Treaty of Four. He has some crust evoking that ancient treaty. Be that as it may, tell Lord Mantle I am here to see him. <sighs> In the name of Lord Mantle, the Rock of Rock, I grant you safe passage. For now. There. That wasn't so bad. Good to see you. I was hoping... Graveheart, in the name of Lord Mantle, you are under arrest. We were promised safe passage. You have diplomatic immunity, but he must answer to Lord Mantle. Take it she was a friend of yours? The best. I trust her with my life. Why would you value your life so cheaply? I thought 
thought the reception on your world was cold. The Ice King and the Miner, as you commanded. Lord Mantle, I bring you- Silence! Were you not sent on a mission with my greatest warriors? Yes, my lord. That is what I must tell you. Where are they? Why aren't they here? They were slain, my lord. All of them. And why weren't you? I was lucky. If it wasn't for the Sonic Cannon... And now you stand with my greatest enemy. He has information that affects us all, Mantle. Enough! Leave my planet, Ice King, or I'll have you reduced to slush. Surely you would not ignore a warning from your own people. He is no longer... Go, Your Majesty. Please. You can do nothing more here. Very well. It appears I have overstayed my welcome. But you do well to heed his warning, Rock Lord. My Lord! Jade, please. This data crystal will explain everything. Save your breath. You are charged with treason. And you will answer for it. Guards! But the crystal... much to look at, but I suppose it will serve. For now. Duh, who cares how it looks? Our mission is to destroy and conquer. No, Block. They were sent here to test the strengths and weaknesses of these worlds. And destroy their defenses. And the quickest way to do that is with my drones. So stay out of my way, Lamprey. Void agrees. Be strong to me! <laughs> Braveheart led me to believe there was more to you, Rock People. How sad that he was wrong. My mission. Warn the worlds of this system. Stop the beast planet. planet, planet, planet. You believe this nonsense? I don't just believe it, Jade. I lived it. Prepare to deactivate the moons.
I am in position. Stand by for my signal. Now! Let the carnage begin. He'll even look at the crystal? He looked. He thinks you're a madman. And what do you think? I prefer not to. Jade, Lord Mantle will listen to you. You must make him see reason. I am only a soldier. I follow orders. The threat of the beast planet is real. The cluster must work together, or we're doomed to perish separately. Jade, you know me better than that. I'm not sure I knew you at all. After you quit the army... Don't go there. Now's not the time or place. Don't move. Like I have a choice. Seal off the control core. Unidentified invader attacking the planet, Commander. Battle Moon Control Core is sealed, but we can't hold out. Ice Mites? And nothing we've ever seen before. It appears to be no matter bound by a Genesis Matrix. So, maybe you haven't gone mad. Situation. The control core is under assault. All access has been cut off. Without the control core, there's no way of activating the defense moons. Rock would be helpless. Not if I have something to say about it. Remember that tunnel? How could you think of that now? No, I mean the one when we were kids. The one that led directly to the Battle Moon Core. You and me against the odds. Just like old times. Don't remind me. Device to planet fire. 
it is imperative that I speak to your prince. Go away, Ice Worlder. The prince cares nothing for you or your world. What I have to say concerns us all. Planet Rock is under attack by a new enemy. I must speak to the prince. You speak as if we should care. The problem is theirs to resolve. We've gone the wrong way. No. They blocked the tunnel. So they have. Thing. Doubt it, but I'll try. Get ready. Manual control online. Get in. Got him in my sights. taste of what's to come. You see, my lord, the beast planet overwhelms. It swarms before devouring its enemy. Rock cannot stand alone. And I cannot permit an alliance with our most hated enemies. But you've seen the beast's power. And they've seen ours. Our battle moons can handle them if need be. They simply took us by surprise this time. It won't happen again. Still, we do owe you a small debt for your help in driving off the invaders. You owe me nothing, Lord Mantle. Then swear loyalty only to Rock, and you will once again be welcome here. I... I can't. Our only hope of survival is uniting all the worlds of our sun against the beast. Then get out of my sight. Dare to return, and you will be executed. Contact Cryos. Tell him to come and pick up his new friend.
I've attempted to contact Prince Pyrus of Fire. His vizier, though, is a bit overprotective. Then we'll just have to find some way around him. Not so fast. I'm going with you. Then you do believe in the Alliance? No, but I believe in you. And somebody has to watch your back with this ice flea around. Charming. I must say, this is the start of a beautiful friendship. when you'd find me? Why must you continue to play such foolish games? What can I say? It's a fun way to blow off steam. <gasps> you know what I mean. I just heard your plan to allow that ice trash Cryos to come to our world. He called and I said yes. What's the big deal? Our worlds have been at war for centuries. This is not for you alone to decide. Our law dictates... You forget! As Prince, I am the law. Apologies, young sire. It is just... With your father gone, you are my responsibility. I thought I had taught you better. You taught me just fine. But if you want me to be king, I've got to learn to act like one. But now is not the time to start. You are far from ready. And they are our greatest enemies. Well, you'll be with me, right? Uh, just because I'm young, I don't think Kryos will treat me any differently. I'm sorry. But diplomatic missions are no place for children. 
But father, you need me. What are you doing? Having my luggage put on board. Careful, that's very fragile. Have I been talking to myself? I need you to stay here. My world would have no meaning if I lost you. Besides, you're still too young. I'm not too young, and I really want to go. Why, thank you, Father. I would be honored to accompany you in this service to our people. Our royal standing forbids me from berating her in public. Just keep her out of my way. This will be my first trip to Planet Fire in years. Is that because you specialized in raiding my planet? Look, I said I was sorry. I believe you said it was only business, just like our trip here. So, when were you last on fire, so to speak? During the Golden Jubilation. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Cluster's last true chance at peace. What went wrong? What didn't? It was a, a difficult moment. One I'm sure the Grand Vizier remembers quite well. You think he'll be a problem? Let's say he is... excitable. Even by fire standards. We are ready for that treachery, my prince. Easy, easy. They're here to end a war, not start one. When insects are involved, one can never be sure. this scene please lower your weapons do as he says who are you man of rock and why are you here name's graveheart and i'm traveling with king cryos why you and not your king uh, you know king mantle nothing can pry him from his throne oh we've no time for this let's go and they say we're hot-headed why don't we talk about this back at the palace not without me you don't this is my daughter the Lady Zira. I thought you said no kids allowed. All our peoples combined are still outnumbered by the beast drones. But even they pale against the power of the beast planet. I'm not worried. Planet Fire has held its own against any foe and beaten them. Another day, another threat, another dog sent running. I hope for your sake you're right. Because this is a menace that can destroy us all. To survive, we must all stand together. Well, if it is our allegiance you crave, perhaps a test is needed to prove your worthiness. The trial by fire? Precisely. Don't worry. The 
can't be as bad as it looks. How can I protect you when you keep taking stupid chances? If the job was easy, anyone could do it. Wait for me here. I'll be back. Don't worry. She is not going anywhere. Don't even think about it. Jade, for once, don't hurt anybody. Please. No promises. To pass the trial, you need only follow the sacred path. How are you holding up? How I feel is not important in the face of the task at hand. Please, Father. You can't. For the good of us all, I must. There's no way you can survive this. I will, because I must. Now, do you wish to lead, or shall I? permission to enter. I don't need permission. I'm royalty too, so if my father gets hurt, I promise he won't live to regret it. It's out of my hands. Besides, it was his choice, remember? Maybe I should stick your father in an ice canyon. My father? Get out of here! This is my palace, and we'll do things my way! Is there anything I can do? Yes. Stop asking. Your repeated questions only draw attention to this unbearable heat. Let us proceed with haste. As you say, Your Majesty. Don't you walk away from me. We're not done talking. Get off my bridge. You don't belong here. And my father doesn't belong inside that volcano. You're starting to get on my nerves. Just starting? I must be slipping. Ah! Ah! Okay? I'm fine. No thanks to you. I hate you, and I hate your stupid bridge. What's so special about it, anyhow? Well, not that it matters to you, but... Well, my father used to bring me here when I was a kid. He always said from here you could see all the beauty of our planet. Sometimes I... Well, I come here to think. Where is your father? And why can't he stop this stupid trial? I'm sorry. I didn't think. That's right! You didn't! What's that? Beast drones?
Given our current situation, my only comfort is the knowledge that my daughter is safe. What are they? I believe they're called lava dogs. You wouldn't happen to have any biscuits on you, would you? Go ahead. I'll be fine. Then we'll be fine together. Units aren't. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> this won't hold them long. Perhaps there is one thing to be done. Nanites. But without them, you'll... It appears we're out of choices.
forgive me, Father. I know that place was special to you. I got tired of waiting. Any word of my father? Leave me. And save yourself. Now it's your turn to stop asking. Sorry we're late. Traffic was murder. Can it be? The insect in the rock hound. You survived. But how? That does not matter. What does is that we have passed your test and earned your allegiance. Never! Ah! You do not speak for the Prince. We'd be happy to join the Alliance. Isn't that what you were going to say? Father! I was so worried! After Pyrus and I fought the Beast Drones, I was sure... You and Pyrus? The Beast Drones? What is going on here? It's a long story, but if you're anything like your daughter, the Beast Planet doesn't stand a chance.
Check out the monitors. These drones must be an invasion force. I've an open channel to Planet Bone, but I've been unable to reach anyone. Keep trying. They have to be warned. What can I do? Get yourself belted in. Things may get rough. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Just give the word. No! Let me! Stand down! Much better. Now, what do you want? We're here to help. There's an invasion force poised to attack your planet. Uh, we don't need your help, and we're quite a force beyond, beyond our world. world. Still, uh, if you wish, you could come to the towers and discuss this matter further. Your kindness is appreciated. It had better be. Enough to know that his arrogance is exceeded only by his ego. Sounds like a real charmer. beings before the awesome power that awaits you. Tremble before the savage might that conquered a thousand planets. Prostrate yourselves before him whose name may be spoken only in whispers. Behold the infinite terror that is Fema, Emperor of Bone! Yea. King should live. I find it excessive, even by FEMA's standards. Uh, what can I say? I love a big entrance. FEMA, this is not the time for theatrics. Well, 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 if it ain't the Frost King himself. What you doing here, Cryos? Slumming? Obviously. Emperor Femur, your planet is in grave danger. Excuse and... me, do I know you? Name's Graveheart. Sorry, ain't ringing any bells. You may not know my comrades, but you would be wise to listen. The Beast Planet is a threat to us all. No greater threat than Bond's enemies united. Beast drones? We've been burned! Ah! <laughs> If you think you can trap us, too. Uh, no trap! No trap! Lab raise a guest, just like you! Indeed. I offer my own alliance to help defend this fine planet from your constant raids. Your own alliance? You gotta be kidding! I'm willing to consider counter offers. <laughs> Emperor Femur, you don't understand. You can't reason with emissaries of the beast. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm a reasonable man, and I'm willing to make a deal. But don't worry, until I decide, you're all my welcome guests. <laughs> uh, think you and me can make a deal in private, Touch? Your hand. Remove it. <laughs> Feisty! I like that in a game! Oh, grand 
exalted ruler of the known universe in all points south. And how good to see you. Yeah, I bet. Oh, Pervis lives but to serve you, Lord. I was just making sure everything is perfect. <laughs> and the food looks delicious. Then why don't you taste it first? Hey, am I late? Have I missed all the fun? Nope. I'd say the fun's just about to start! Is this a party or what? Everybody, sit, eat, hey, try the cannolis, the delicious. I refuse to sit with that. Ah, girls, fighting over me. Fema, how can you trivialize the greatest danger ever to face our world? Hey, up to a week ago, my greatest danger was you, old buddy. And still is. That is why Beast and Bone must work together. Our alliance offers freedom and survival to the people of Bone. They care nothing for your world, my lord. It is just one of their many deceptions. Before you decide... I already decided. Guards! Arrest them! Sorry, kid. Fun's over. We have to hurry. The guards are right behind us. Wow, Cryos. I can't believe you did that to Femur. It seemed appropriate at the time. Ha! You gotta hand it to Cryos. I didn't think he had it in him. Uh, you missed the spot. Okay, what's next? Partner? Let's talk about protection. If I ever get my hands on that skinny runt. You may not have to. There's no way he'll survive an alliance with the Lamprey. the salvation of your world. Your very own force field generator. Oh, is that what this thing is? Yes. It shields your world and protects you from your enemies. Yeah, and I'm sure it lasts longer than most of my deodorants. Let me know when it's finished. Very last name. Yeah. But he's a bigger fool than I imagined. Our generator will drain the life from the planet. By the time you arrive, it will be helpless. See how well things work out when you play it my way. Kid, forget your teddy bear. Just tell me that you haven't joined forces with the Beast Planet yet. Well, I haven't signed the paperwork yet, if that's what you mean. Then there's still time. Look, my people raided your planet for its resources. The Beast Planet destroys for the sheer pleasure of it. Lamprey is pure evil. Yeah, she does seem a little bloodthirsty at times. Uh... Your planet and the Alliance. We could trade, work together. The only thing the Beast wants is your lives. Emperor, I need to requisition... What is that Alliance Brett doing here? Hey, take it easy, sweetheart. You lost him, I found him. 
Take the child to my chambers. Sorry to lose my temper. It's just that the boy, he's dangerous. Yeah, the teenage girls! You should have ran when you had the chance, kid. I couldn't. I thought I could change your mind. <laughs> Crazy hothead, just like his father. Felt good to hit something. Indeed. Now, however, it is time to contact the Alliance. Anyone know where Pyrus is? I thought he was with you. Well, I suggest we find him, and quickly. His vizier will want to know why he is missing. Maybe he won't notice. Where is my prince insect? In a moment. What have you learned? Our scouts report an armada of beast drone ships converging on bone space. Hmm. Not unexpected. Have you obtained that fool Femur's assistance? Not quite yet. In fact, he appears to have betrayed us to the beast. I warned the prince this would happen. Now, where is he? You're not going to believe this, but... Force field is online, Block. Lead those dogs to their doom! Already underway. Cryos, what are we up against? Sensors indicate a force field generator capable of leaching energy from the planet. And converting it into a destructive shield around Bone. Then we have to destroy the generator before our entire fleet is caught in its pull. Common message from FEMA? Hey, excuse me, but if you're not too busy getting your butts kicked, you might want to rescue the kid. Coordinates coming through now. 
Thanks, Toad. You're welcome. I think. Welcome back, Prince. So, how'd you like your first diplomatic mission? Well, it's not as boring as I thought it would be. Hey, has anybody seen Femur? Actually, he told us where to find you. Looks like you made an impression on him after all. This isn't over yet. Femur still has time to sell us out. See, Femur. We reign supreme, with Block and his drones protecting the generator. Any hope for survival is just an illusion. Yeah, yeah, cram it up! That's it. Thanks for the clue, babe. Cryos, when I give the word, I want you to hit that generator with everything you got! We can't get near it. It is protected by overwhelming numbers of beast drones. I got it covered this time. Trust me. Give him a chance. I believe him. Might as well. We're out of other options. You've got to be joking. I fear this is not the time for levity. Whatever Femur has in mind, he'd better act soon. Smoke and mirrors, beast babe. You said it yourself. Well... Eat hologram! What? All ships engage the attack! Protect the generator! There's our opening! I'll never trust that smirking toad. Ah, good thing I was here to pull your butts out of the fire. Interesting notion, considering you put them there in the first place. You know, maybe your alliance ain't so bad after all. So you'll join us? Afraid. I knew you would. So what do you say, sweetheart? Friends? Betray us again and perish. Ha! I knew you'd like me. Oh, what's the matter, Graveheart? Chisel got your tongue? No. Now that the Alliance is set... Let the beast beware. Answer block. See how well things go when you play it my way, block. <laughs> well, I don't think Void is particularly happy with this outcome. My folly was to trust a weak mind. But there is one of those fools who may yet prove useful to our ends. I believe they call her Tekla.
Your collective majesties. Let's get this first strategy war council of the Four Worlds Alliance started. Hey, wait a minute! Who worked out these cockamamie seating arrangements? I did. Eh, figures. Only a low like commoner would be dumb enough to put me at the wrong end of the table. It is a round table, FEMA. There is no wrong end. Protocol, touch. It's all protocol. Pelvis, jump and prop. Yes. <clears throat> Most exalted tank and gracious <clears throat> monarch. <clears throat> if everyone is now properly seated, I'd like to open this council by... Hey, hey, who said you could open anything? You got three heads of state here. What should be opening whatever needs opening? You miserable, slimy little reptile. Yeah, baby. I love you too. Jade, please. This isn't helping. I'll open the council. Sorry, kid. You're too young. I'm the ruler of Planet Fire. Still, perhaps as elders here, I should... Oh, no, you don't, bug boy. You're just hogging all the glory. There is no glory here, FEMA. Only the need for survival. Then there ain't no reason I can't be in charge, is there? Everybody, please calm down. Let's take a breather to let tempers cool off. We'll reconvene in ten minutes. My apologies, Graveheart. I fear I did not help the situation. It's not you, Kryos. It's me. I'm just not cut out to run this kind of show. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm not royalty or a general. Just a minor. My friend, you are the only one with the heart to see what needs to be done. That is all that truly matters. Yes. 
<laughs> hey, this is some dame. What's her story? She is Tekla. A great warrior and foe of the beasts who fell in battle saving our king. She was injured saving the minor designated Braveheart. Too bad. I wouldn't mind getting under the ice with her if you know what I mean. Ah! The greatest threat to our plans is a leader such as Greyheart. Remove him, and his alliance will quickly collapse. So, what does this Tekla have to do with anything? It must be done in a way that will create confusion and suspicion by one they view as friend. <laughs> Another one of your fancy, complicated plans. <laughs> Brute force would be so much simpler. Void. As ever, the decision is yours. No, my prince. But they need me. Your homeworld needs you more. <laughs> and what is your excuse, cowards? Eh, blow it out your nostrils, lava breath. We're, uh, uh, planning the next assault. Glacier, to be stuck here when the battle rages outside. Looking for a hero's death? Sorry to disappoint you. Intruder present. That is the last of them. An appropriate beginning to a war council. Something is bothering you. That attack, it, it made no sense. It did seem to lack a specific target. And the force, it was too small to really accomplish anything. Sounds like you could use some help. Is it possible? Good news, my friends. Reports of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Tekla, I thought you were lost for good. Rejoice in being wrong. I am healed and ready to take up the fight once more. Welcome back. Your timing is excellent. Greyheart! in here there was a beast throne present when I awoke then where is it now I destroyed it poor Vox he's a mess Tekla 
You think you can patch him up? Why waste the time? Oh, I merely meant it is beyond repair. And we have so much else to do. You're right. A lot's happened while you were on ice. And I want to hear all about it. Let us confer. Alone. After the War Council. We can fill you in during the meeting. Go on. I will join you in a minute. My friends, this is Princess Tekla, sole survivor of Planet Tek. The one who first warned us of the beast. My prince, we know nothing about this creature. How can we trust her? If Graveheart vouches for her, that's good enough for me. Yo! I got an extra seat right over here, good looking. Sorry, Fima. I play no favorites. Okay, so what's the story? Did the Beast Planet really eat your world? And you are? He is Prince Pyrus, ruler of Planet Fire, Lord of the Golden Light. How is it you know of Fema, but not my prince? Hey! Everybody knows who I am! Ha! I make sure of it! No, really! Does the Beast Planet actually eat other worlds? It does. And the same thing will happen to your worlds unless we can stop it. Based on her experience, I think it's best if I turn the floor over to Tekla. Are you certain about this? And why not? I have the knowledge you need. Sounds dandy to me! Providing I get a little, uh, one-on-one -on -one counseling. Then if that's settled, let's get started. Graveheart, what is the purpose of this council? I felt we needed a unified war strategy for dealing with the enemy. Yes. That would make the Alliance very dangerous. Come on. Talk to me. Last. Before I can develop a unified strategy, I must know what we have to work with. Meaning? I need the complete schematics and full details of all your weapon systems. Uh, no way, Toots. I ain't giving up that precious info to nobody. But Femur, she's trying to help. No. I agree with the Toad, my prince. Such information in the wrong hands could prove disastrous. And we have only just met this creature. To trust her would be madness. Still, it does seem a reasonable request, considering what we're asking her to do. Much though I dislike agreeing with the Vizier Graveheart, he does have a point. These are matters of state. To share such sensitive information... I understand. Perhaps you might all take a few moments to discuss it. Graveheart and I can wait outside. Don't you think we should have stayed to persuade them? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Graveheart! I must speak with you, alone. You're interrupting important business. This is important business. Do you always allow your underlings to behave so rudely? Jade is my friend and equal. We'll be right back. The weapon used on the guard, Vox, and the stasis tube was the same, a beast weapon. So, Tekla said... That was the only weapon discharged. If Tekla fired back, as she said... You're accusing Tekla? That makes no sense. She'd never do that to Vox. Something is not right about her. 
Jade, I'm surprised at you. You're not jealous, are you? Listen to me, you thick-headed... Graveheart! Tekla! The Council has reached a decision. This is not over. It has been agreed, reluctantly, to give you full information about our weapon systems. On one condition, that you're the only one who sees it. It must not be shared with anyone else. I promise you, I will use this information solely for my own purposes. Oh, and we mustn't forget Planet Rock. I'll need the schematics for its battle moons. Sorry, I can't help you there. I've been exiled from Rock. Only King Mantle can give you that information. Then we must correct that. The battle moons are too powerful to be ignored. This council will reconvene when you have the weapons information for me. Let's talk about your exile situation, privately. You seem greatly disturbed, Jade. I do not trust this Tekla. She grinds my stones. I must confess, something does not seem right. Perhaps we shouldn't rush into things. I tried to reason with King Mantle, but instead found myself exiled. I've had just about enough of you. And I have just barely begun. <clears throat> we must reconvene the Council at once. This had better be worth it. It's okay. I have everything under control. Not from where I'm standing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I regret to announce that I have changed my mind about the arrangement. But we had a deal! I need more time to consider. Ah, that's it! I've had it with you bunch of posturing windbags! I'm out of here! Hey, what about us? We're not gonna be the only ones to reveal our secrets. Please, stay calm. We can work this out. You wanna talk to me? Try coming to Bone, if I don't blow you out of the sky first. Except you, doll. Ooh, you can drop by any time. Go after Femur. Do whatever you have to short of mayhem to keep him here. Tekla, we have to talk alone. But... Just do what I ask, Jade. Please. Went wrong. Nothing. It's all perfect. Uh, you! You know! You made a big mistake mentioning Rock's battle moons. There's no way Tekla could have known about them. Who are you? Tell me! One more day, Toad. Do not make me force you to stay. Oh! That's supposed to be an incentive, Toots? <laughs> that depends. Do you want your head ripped off? Hey! I'm the High Exalted Emperor of the Boundless Bone Empire, babe! You can take your threats and chew on them! Toodles! Lamprey's taken over Tekla's body and she's headed this way! We have to stop her! Gladly. There! Warning shots only! Don't damage Tekla's body! They're shooting at me! I've been double 
crossed! Are you sure? Perhaps you should, um, go out and check your superiorsness. How's about I send you out instead, huh? Well, what are we waiting for? I'll get us out of here. doesn't know what he's in for. He's got Lamprey inside, hiding in Tekla's body. Ah, that explains much. Now I suppose we'll have to save the fool from himself. <laughs> Do we have to? Trust Rockhead and his posse any further than I can kick him. You can't begin to guess the extent of the treachery, Emperor Fema. Well, if it ain't the Tin Princess, how'd you get on my ship? Eh, not that I'd exactly mind giving you a ride, if you catch my drift. I understand you perfectly. Yeah, I bet you do. So! What's the scoop on Graveheart and his homicidal squeeze? He approached me in secret with a plan to betray you. That crummy commoner! I knew it! When I refused to join him, he tried to kill me. So I sought safety at your side. Yeah, <laughs> did you now? <clears throat> Exalted ruler of the known universe, incoming message from planet Eyes. They say it's urgent. Oh, do they? Well, they can go and chew chunks. Put the ship on radio silence and don't bother us. <laughs> Me and the machine queen here need us some quiet times to sort things out.
Council's crown. They cut me off. Femur's in trouble. No doubt. I'll ready the Aurora for pursuit. If we're lucky, they'll kill each other before we can reach them. <laughs> You're kidding, right? We've got to help Femur. And rescue Tekla. She's the key to winning this war. Don't underestimate your own importance in this struggle, my friend. Oh, those miserable slime squirting! And to think I almost trusted them! Which is more than they deserve. I, I guess, guess this means their precious alliance is broken. Not yet it isn't. You've used me like a puppet, Lamprey. Time to return the favor. You've learned my secrets. Now I will learn yours. Never. It was you who's been holding me here. Guess I'll have to regain my freedom the hard way. This should be... fun. <sighs> Having fun, toots. You have absolutely no idea how much I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I promise, I'll suck the life out of you, slowly. Hey, no objections here, toots. <sighs> Ow! Uh, too rough for you? Uh, hey, <laughs> I kind of like it that way, but uh, let's not go crazy here. Hmm. I'm starting to appreciate this woman. I have the reptile ship on sensors. And Vox should be back online momentarily. And better than ever. We've given this little brain ball some real firepower. The damage Lamprey did was extensive, but I believe my repairs are... Intruder. <clears throat> Complete. Princess Tekla is not present. Exactly, Vox. But we're going to get her back. Dead or alive. Dead is not an option. Tekla is too... What was that? Fema has fired on us. No way. He wouldn't. Apparently he would. Just a taste of what you threw at me, you backstabbing iceberg! Well done, Femur. All my enemies will be destroyed in one neat package. Hey, uh, don't you mean all our enemies, doll? Of course. Isn't that what I said? Torpedoes away, your royal extravagance! Yes. <laughs> hey, he's a bucket spaddle there. Don't turn your back on me. Probing your mind is like fishing in a sewer. But let's see. <laughs> Incredible. This information could cripple the power of the beast planet. The knowledge will perish with you!
crazy! Femur's still shooting at us! Time to return the favor. You won't burn him away, will you? Destroy you and your master. And if you uh, can't understand that, you will never win this war. Assist your vastness. Oopsie. Ow! 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 Hey! Pelvis, you dope! Ow! 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 Mind the weapons! Ow! They've stopped firing at us. Graveheart, what, what should we do? Um, I'm not sure. Jade, take out their weapons and propulsion systems. Prepare to board. Destroy me, we both die. Then so be it. <sighs> you done hammering me! I think there's maybe a couple of teeth you ain't knocked loose yet! The loading bay bulkheads have been compromised, most <laughs> defeated leader. Your former allies are coming aboard. Well then seal the bridge! Okie dokie. Yeah, this is your fault, you nutso dame! It's all over except for the shout now! Oh, this is far from over. Yeah, you're kidding, right? Trust me, babe. The fat lizard has sunk. Give it up, my prey! Lamprey? Let me be or the toad dies. What are you doing? Do as she says. For now. Graveheart! No! I'm not worth it! Now it's over! <laughs> I said, leave me! Jay, no! 
We destroy that body. We destroy Lamprey. Maybe you can live with that, but I can't. Put up a fight, please. Alliance fools! This gains you nothing! <clears throat> That's his second time I've been suckered by Lamprey. Oh, I think I'm in love. I've never seen an auto dock equipped with so many poisons and counter poisons before. <sighs> That's because you never know what might find its way into your dinner. So, how's your little beastie in cyborg's clothing doing? Princess Tekla is undergoing extreme distress. Can't unleash your evil on the universe again. So I said, oh, fool! Would you really doom us both? Graveheart, destroy us while you still can! away like your pitiful father did. Father? You ran and left him to his doom. She does not want to be safe. I, for one, am open to any options. I know a way to end this. Quick. Painless. Solution, I salute their courage. Then we die for nothing. Even without my power, the beast is still coming to destroy them all. What troubles you, my friend? You've never seemed so uncertain before. I was deluding myself. I'm just a miner. This is all so far beyond me. If I make the wrong decision, people die. People will die whether you make a decision or not. It is the choosing that matters, not the choice. I know, you're right. You all believed in me. Maybe it's time I started believing in myself. No, not on my watch. Our strength is in the sum of our parts. So long as we hold every part precious, risk ourselves to maintain the whole, we can survive anything. So, how does this help Tekla? I don't know. But together we'll find some way to save her. Of course. Together. Okay. 
together we will overcome your evil. Together we will prevail. What are you doing? You want it out? Then go! Tell your master it's time for him to be afraid! It's the ship! Good riddance! Thank you all. I couldn't have beaten her without your support. You can thank Graveheart. He never gave up on you. Lamprey is still out there. You only beat her in your mind. All battles are first won in the mind, Jade. The important thing is our alliance endures. So it does, my friend. So it does. Ha, 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 ha.